good evening. I want to welcome you here with us today on our Daily Dose. Uh, if I want to describe today's events, my condition and all, and only one word today would be, wow. I woke up this morning about 6.20. Uh, my nurse came in at that point and notified me that there was an available heart, that I was going to be up for transplant today. And of course, when they do that, uh, they call in two and sometimes three potential candidates and, and get them together and they start to trying to match those things. And so throughout the day, the long story short, throughout the day, incrementally, I was being given updates and all those updates were saying this, it's, it's your heart. The match is for you. And so all day long, we were under that impression up until four or some odd, four or five o'clock this afternoon, we were under that total impression. And then all at once, another nurse came in this evening and she said these simple words, it's not yours. And I didn't know what that meant. I didn't understand that, I didn't comprehend that. Now, I've, I've heard rumors and that's what these are. Uh, they're, they're based on some pretty good information, but what, as it turned out, that heart, that organ was not viable for anybody. Now the good news is this, and that is that that same donor was also donating a set of lungs and my understanding is that those lungs were fine and so there are individuals right now being transplanted. They're getting those lungs. So that's a blessing to any and all who were involved. And so we need to pray for that donor family irregardless. They lost a loved one today. But you know, when I look back across the day, and it was stressful. At one point, they said the heart cures, it matches. And we're waiting to 4 o'clock so the doctors can get in a helicopter and go get it, retrieve it. And you'll be having surgery. I mean, we were that convinced. But one thing I was reminded of today, I won't say I learned it, but I learned it in a practical way. And that is that as you ought to know too, God's ways are not our ways. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8 reads as this, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Verse 9 goes on to say, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Friends, what we learn from that, or at least we are reminded of, if we go back and study it, as I'm trying to do now, is that we're not going to understand God's ways. We're not going to understand everything in the way that it plays out. And believe me, throughout the day, things were lining up so much. Time and time again, I would tell people who would come to visit, and by the way, I had a tremendous amount of, of, of company today, loving, caring people, most of which are members of the church, and I, I couldn't even imagine thanking them enough. But as those people filed in and out, I can remember all day repeating certain situations and saying, this seems to be providence. This seems to be God's will. This is aligning and this is not and this is aligning and this is. And, and all these things were falling into place almost perfectly, it seemed. And then to get that kind of news. But I received that news because of one thing. God's ways are not our ways. As far as it is that the heavens are higher than the earth, the distance between that is the distance that seemingly and illustratively separates what we think, what we know, and what we desire from what God will do. And His will will be done in all things. You know, I think about our Lord. When He was in the Garden of Gethsemane on three occasions, He, being the Son of God, but mind you, God in a body, He prayed that God's will would be done. And in doing that, He prayed that God's ways would be His ways. Friends, I want to encourage you, when you face something in life, whether it be difficult or just something that is questionable, something that you do not understand, remind yourself again, Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9, God's ways are not our ways. This has been your daily dose, and I pray that you've been encouraged.